Ryan, tell me, tell us about your free floating hostility. So yeah, so again, I'm not a woke person. I'm a liberal. I feel I consider myself, an, uh, and I consider that just to be me being an open-minded person. I see b both sides of the story. I understand the time period of things that happened. I try to look at it from all angles. I don't, okay. you know, I, and it's everything. It's 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 you know, but there's some fucking cunt on TikTok. And what the fuck's her name? Her I'll, I'll tell you her fucking name. Serena Trueblood. This fucking cunt on TikTok. Yeah, I'm saying she's a cunt. I actually said, shut up, cunt, on her fucking TikTok comments. Did she reply? What? Did she reply? I didn't look. This fucking dumb cunt is trying to cancel Metallica. Because she's anti-white supremacy, by the way. She's what? Anti-white supremacy. She's Listen, we're all anti-white supremacy. Sorry. No, listen. So, obviously, with, with the last episode of Stranger Things, or the second to last episode, whatever it was, Eddie, who dies, um, plays... Spoiler. Spoiler. Eddie dies. He plays yeah. Master of Puppets in the Upside Down to attract all the bats. And then the uh, download rate of Master of Puppets went up like 800% the next day. And Metallica's had great moments where they've like jammed with Eddie playing, because he actually learned the song. And they've yeah. had him backstage and there's videos of him, them get, signing a guitar for him and he's playing with the Master of Puppets with them. So apparently a bunch of people went out, a bunch of fucking kids, a bunch of fucking young fucking morons went out and downloaded Master of Puppets. It's an amazing song. Metallica is one of my top favorite bands. I'm a Megadeth yeah. fan above Metallica, but I mean, I've liked Metallica my whole life. And Metallica is one of the best live bands you could ever see. They've been doing it yeah. over 40 years. They're fact one of the best live. I mean, maybe James's voice is not as great as it used to be. But still, and they read that metal, but just not lie about that. Yeah. But, you know, entertainment wise, Metallica is still going to be one of the best bands you ever see. I've seen them four times. I saw them with Guns N' Roses and Faith No More in 92. You know, just, they're legendary. No one who listens to music is ever going to say Metallica was not one of the greatest bands in the history of music. Rock and Roll Hall of Famers. Yeah. Not even my favorite band. I'm not even going at it as my, my favorite. I, like I said, Dave Mustaine, who was in Metallica, started Megadeth. I like Megadeth more than I like Metallica. But I'm always going to give props to Metallica. So all these fucking morons went out and downloaded Master of Puppets. Good. It's a great fucking song. But then one I, the apparently... Best. One of the best songs. One of the best songs they have. Probably top ten. But apparently this fucking dumb bitch finally said, Oh, I wonder if Metallica has any other songs. And listened to their back catalog and apparently looked at some videos of them in the 80s and the 90s when they were referred to, by the way, as Alcoholica because of their legendary... Dr I mean, the only other band apparently Drinking in history... Huh, what did you say? Drinking and drugs. Yeah. Like, it was... It, like, historically speaking, if you talk to any metal fan, it's like Def Leppard and Metallica and maybe ACDC were like the three heaviest drinking drug bands... I don't want to say... Molly Crew, probably, too. Well, apparently Metallica and Def Leppard put everyone to shame. Like, yeah. com completely destroyed everybody. But Metallica were notorious alcoholics and drug users. And so I'm sure at some point they said and did some shit that was fucked up. They've been around 40 years. They started in 1981. The yeah, 80s were a different funny. time. And they, they were 18... Funny. When they started, right? They're kids. They got they they're kids who got signed to a multi million dollar record deal for Metal Up Your Ass, which became Kill 'Em All. They were touring the world, opening for Ozzy in 1984. Like, if I'm 19 years old and I'm opening for Ozzy at a stadium in Europe, I might get drunk and say some fucked up things. I get on this show and say some fucked up things and get drunk.
and I'd be banging sixty chicks a day. And I mean, I still wouldn't reach Virgil numbers apparently, but I'd be close. Yeah. So, so this fucking girl found out they were an '80s metal band that did fucked up shit. And they, and but oh, they had a catchy song on a show that I liked. So let me research them some more. So, Serena Trueblood classifies herself. Which is, you know, if I had to do a whole nother free-floating hostility, it would be on the fact that she calls herself an influencer. Oh, God. If, okay. That's okay. next week. Let me just say this real quick. <laughs> if you consider yourself a social media influencer, that just means you are unemployed, but somehow you've tricked people into sending you money. Yes. You're not an you're influencer. Broken. You're the Jimmy right? Graham of TikTok. Yes. You're not an influencer. You're a con man, or excuse me, con person, that has convinced people stupider than you to send you money to do nothing. And you're not influencing me to do anything. I watched her video. I didn't get influenced to hate Metallica because I've liked Metallica probably 40 years now. 35 yeah. years, let's say. But you're not you're not an influencer. You're not you're just some fucking stupid person on TikTok that people watch your videos and then they go, I, I want to hear more. Here's money because I'm fucking stupider than you. So here's my hard-earned money. She's changed my mind completely. Oh, so has she? Yeah, I love Metallica my whole life, and uh, I'm 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 sold. She changed my mind. So do you want to know why her po her points are? Tell me. Tell me your points. So, she says they're racist. First thing she says, oh. she goes, Metallica's racist. Wrong! Oh, against who? Well, there's a picture of Lars and James from Metallica yeah. from about 1988-89 where they're doing uh, the Nazi salute. But... Let's just, I, I saw the picture she posted, I looked it up, and there's a backstory to it. They were fucking high and drunk, and they thought it was funny. Not saying it's okay, not condoning what they did, or not, you know, not condoning what they did, but I'm saying it was 1988, 1989, and they were fucked up. So, do you remember... Was it road trip or Euro tri Euro trip? Yes. They had the little kid that was walking around doing the Nazi salute in the yeah. little Nazi uniform. That's okay. Apparently, that's okay. With the context, because it was in a comedy, right? It was in a comedy. But they were joking in the comedy, and they were joking in backstage Metallica. Yeah, and then, okay. and, and also Metallica was also high and, and drunk. Right. They didn't say hi, we're Metallica. We're Nazis and we hate Jews. They never said that. Never said that. Okay. Okay. I was just double checking. Next. James Hetfield is a um, well known biker. He owns motorcycles. Um, something that's associated with motorcycles that unfortunately was also associated with. Nazis in a certain way was the Iron Cross. The okay. Iron Cross was around before the Nazis and it's around after the Nazis. It was just, you know, the cross that comes out. It's like a, it looks like a square because it's got all the points. Oh, and James, a lot of bikers use that on their, their vest or whatever. And James Hetfield has a guitar where he has an iron cross on it so this fucking dumb cunt says he's got an I and she's got the like the green screen behind her so she's got the pictures popping up and she goes he's got an iron cross on his guitar nazi wrong! it's like no the guy's a fucking tattooed biker he has an iron cross on there i have friends that have iron crosses fucking necklaces because they own motorcycles it's not a Nazi thing. It was be around before the Nazis. It was around after the Nazis. Unfortunately, the Nazis just kind of made it look like shit. 
But, okay, so that's your second point, cunt. Then, Wait, I, I have something. I have something about uh, the Iron Cross. What is it? Do you remember there was a company, independent skating company? Yeah, their symbol was the Iron Cross. Wasn't there? Wasn't this their symbol? It's just close. I mean, it's pretty close. Uh, yeah, that's pretty close to the Iron Cross. Yeah, I was just, I was just curious. Yeah. So, it and it wasn't just Jake because... a big skateboarder? Yeah, he also was a very big skateboarder back in the day. Oh, that's weird. That's weird how he'd be a skateboarder. An independent skateboard company has that logo. And, and he's a biker, and, the, and a lot of bikers use that as their logo. Yeah. So, I don't know. That's just weird. So that's too debunked right there. So then there, she shows a picture of James Hetfield with Kerry King from Slayer. Another amazing speed metal band. One of my favorites as well. Right. Great musician. Kerry King historically always had long hair, but then he started going bald and he shaved his head. Now, if you see a picture of Kerry King now, he's bald with a giant beard. Right. But in this particular picture, he's clean shaven, almost clean shaven, and he's bald. And she says... Here's a picture of James Hetfield with this Aryan-looking motherfucker. Wrong! Yeah. And she, she goes, hold on one second. She goes, oh, and he's wearing a Confederate flag shirt. That yeah, he's okay, very proud of. All, yeah. It's like, okay, first of all, again, not condoning, you know, I'm not condoning it. Some people, like it or not, and recently in the last 10, 15 years, it's obviously been more, you know, uh, condemned for being a, a symbol of hate. But yes. at one point, people just wore the Confederate flag. I mean, there's still people that wear it because they're fucking idiot, redneck, southern assholes. But at, some, you know, at one point, people just wore it because they thought it was cool. And King is not, not to say that. I condone the Confederate flag, but it is the cooler looking flag, to be honest with you. If you if it didn't have if it didn't have the symbolism it did. Yeah, I, listen, I, I hate what it stood for, but it's kind of a cool looking flag. I'm not gonna lie. But, and Pantera had it, you know, a lot of southern Yeah, Pan and Pantera's uh, from Texas uh, and Leonard Skinner. I mean it's still on some it's still on some state flags and still on some license plates. Yeah, and the fact that she's condoning or condemning Kerry King for wearing the shirt, but not talking about Leonard Skinner, who pretty much their whole shtick was being Southern, Sweet Home Alabama, Confederate, Confederate flag, redneck. redneck Confederates. Yeah. Like, now she's cherry picking, okay? She's yeah. cherry picking what she wants to think. So, and she calls Kerry King an Aryan looking motherfucker. That's kind if of a uh, stereotyping. It is. And if you've ever listened to Slayer, which obviously she hasn't, he is one of the most non Aryan mother He have they they have a song called Angel of Death, which yes. is about the Nazi do uh doctor that used to do uh do all those crazy experiments. Was that it's Heinrich a song Kimmel? that Yes. It's a song that shits on him. For being a psychopath. So you're going to say to the guy that wrote... He wrote the song. Kerry <laughs> King wrote Angel of Death. A song shitting on the Nazi that did experiments. You're going to call him an Aryan looking motherfucker? Do your research before you fucking start spouting on TikTok. You dumb bitch. Alright? She has no idea what she's talking about. That's only the that, that's the third point debunked. Then she goes, and they make fun of suicide. They're wrong. They were historically very close with Alice in Chains, one of my top five favorite bands. Lane Staley yeah. to me is one of the greatest vocalists of all time. He you know he did not commit suicide. By the way, he just 
fucking overdosed on drugs. It's not suicide. He just right. got into a very dark place and he died. And there's a video of Metallica playing live and they start playing Man in the Box and and uh, James Hetfield does the needle in the arm thing, right? There's like and then three years later they're sitting front row at Allison Chains's uh, Unplugged. Because that's their fucking best friends, right? Yeah. yeah. So, right there, they're making a If you died, I'd still make jokes about you dying. Sorry, you're, you're my best friend. I would, I would make... About the day of, like, the day after he died. Of, about who? Bob Saget. Like, comedians. Yes. Exactly. If you're friends with somebody, you're... you're I'm, if you died today, I would make a joke about you tomorrow. Because I love you that much... That I right. think it, you would. That's what you would want, right? I wouldn't want people to fucking be like crying and shit. I'd probably be like, "Hey, say some funny shit that I did or some stupid shit I did." Yeah, and then the other laugh. video, the other video they show is him going, "Hey, what color were Kurt Cobain's eyes?" Now Nirvana's my favorite band ever, and he's like, oh. "What color were Kurt Cobain's eyes? Blue. One blue this way, one blue that way." And then they show a clip of Dave Mustaine, who at this point has been out of Metallica. 20 years he goes well he had good aim and so they're condoning they're con she's condemning megadeth not yeah. mentioning it's megadeth they're, she's, she's saying dave mustaine who's not even in metallica anymore for like 20 years that he's fucked up because he made a kurt cobain joke and then james hetfield makes a kurt cobain joke i'm surprised she didn't talk about dave dave mustaine kicking lars's dog yeah like why didn't you bring that up you, you want to just cherry pick out of the band for it. Yeah. So you want to cherry pick everything? Fine, cherry pick it. But you know what? I remember when Kirk Bain died, and I heard that joke all the fucking time. Now, if you look at her video, she is a, uh, I guess, a Mexican American or whatever she is. Doesn't really matter. But for someone who talks a lot of shit, you saw her eye makeup? Yes. So, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure that's the eye of Osiris. I believe you're right. Uh, which is Egyptian, which would be a cult cultural appropriation. Something like this, or eye of Horus. Something like that, right? Yeah, she doesn't bring that up. <laughs> she doesn't bring that she's doing that makeup so that she looks... She's stealing Egyptian stuff. And even yeah. though she's a, is Egyptian, okay, fine, uh, Egyptian. She's got Mexican flags on her shit. Oh, that's true. Okay, so there you go. Another thing she brings up is that there's a three-second video of Jason Newstead doing a Nazi salute and doing the goose step, right? First of all, I'm not condoning that either, but... Jason Newstead also had a huge drug and alcohol problem and wasn't in the band when Master of Puppets was written and he's not in the band now. Yeah, yes. <laughs> so you're going to condemn Metallica for something that a guy... She's condemning him for what Dave Mustaine did in 19... You know, he was in the band in 1981 and then he said something in 1995, so that's Metallica's fault. And then Jason Newstead, who wasn't in the band when Meta Master of Puppets was written and he's not in the band now... Did something on stage that was kind of fucked up, so that's Metallica's fault. <laughs> Bless you. Not to mention, Metallica's racist, right? Oh yeah, because they uh, apparently, according to Axl Rose and some girl that apparently worked on the Guns and Metallica tour, which I went to, that had Faith No More opening, which is number two favorite band of all time. James Hetfield said something along the lines of, "I don't want Ice T." on our tour because I don't want to share the stage with an N. There's there's no confirmation to this. Axl Rose, of all people, who I love Guns N' Roses, backed it up, but when they said Axl Rose backed it up, that was not exactly when Axl Rose was not also fucked up on drugs and alcohol and pissed off at Metallica for the Metallica. tour. And hating Metallica. <laughs> yes, I'm where, hating Metallica. That was a tour where Metallica had to play for how many hours at Giant Stadium because Guns N' Roses didn't show up. Or didn't I, was, stadium. I went to the one in, 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 at Giant Stadium, 1992. Me and my brother, this kid Mark and his father, 
And Faith No, I wanted to see Faith No More. I love that band. Metallica comes on first, plays for like two hours, and then there was like a two-hour delay. And yeah. I'm 12 years old. I didn't know why there was a two-hour delay till Guns N' Roses came out. Right. And you know, you find out later that's because Axel did X, Y, and Z because he was all fucked up. It was an amazing show, though. I'm not gonna lie, the show was amazing. But if you watch Live Tonight or um, a Year and a Half in the Life of Metallica. They classically on that tour make fun of Axel. Axel Rose at the at the time, I'm not gonna say now, at the time hated Metallica. So yeah, yeah. if there was something to be said about Axel or about Metallica, he's probably gonna agree with it. Yeah, he's, gonna it he's gonna co sign on that one. Yeah. So there's five debunked uh, shit she's trying to well, say. A couple more things. So there's one of the, uh, I don't think he was a, Kirk Hammond wasn't a founding member, right? Because it was Mustaine? No, he came, he came from Exodus. Dave yes, Mustaine okay. was the original so, guitar player. Kirk Hammett came. Kirk Hammett is of Filipino descent. Yeah, oh, the Asian thing. Yes, you're right. Because they did the Asian eyes. And he said yeah. Oriental. Kirk Hammett is Filipino and, and white. Metallica's most recent bass player is Robert Trujillo, who is Hispanic. And Lars Ulrich is from Denmark. Denmark. Yeah. So, James Hetfield's the only American in American. the band at the moment. <laughs> like, true American, like, born in America, American. Like white, white, white American. Yeah. So, James Hetfield, as fucked up as it may be, Doing a Asian voice with the he put like noodles over his eyes or something. He said Oriental, and they show Kirk Hammond. He's just kind of like, okay, that's not oh, funny. Like, oh, Robert Trujillo is of Mexican and Native American descent. Oh, okay, so two minority. So pretty much, James, the white American, is the minority in the group. <laughs> <But no. laughs> so everything, everything this woman's trying, she's literally cherry picking. Shit that Met Metallica's had a 40 plus year career. She's picked out six or seven things they've done in 40 years and said cancel them. And she's got like 35,000 views on this. And people agree with her. Like, I looked at the comments, it's like 50 50. This fucking dumb bitch is trying to get the people to cancel a band that has been around for over 40 years that doesn't give a fuck about what they do. There's nobody, there's not going to be one point in time where people are going to go, I don't want to listen to Metallica anymore. I have friends that have multiple Metallica tattoos on them because that band like helped them get out of a suicidal spot or helped them get off drugs or you know just got them into music. It's never going to happen. I, I'm gonna go. As far, I'm gonna go as far as like even if you were trying to say about any bands, like if you had, like you go as far as Pantera and be like, "Our oh, Pantera's racist." Besides for the Confederate flag, but they're all Texas born, and they had you know, Phil was apparently Phil was a little off. Yeah, in the head. I mean, you can make the argument, but still, people aren't gonna stop listening to them. Like I have a thing with certain celebrities. And I don't agree with any celebrity spouting their personal opinions about anything. Like, I want to watch your movies, I want to listen to your music, and that's it. When they start spouting their personal beliefs, I don't agree with it, and it makes me dislike them personally. But it's not going to make me stop listening or watching their shit. Like me, I don't necessarily agree with a lot of things Robert De Niro says, but he's the greatest, one of the greatest actors who's ever lived. And I'm not going to ever stop watching his movies because he's one of the greatest actors who's ever yeah, lived. You're not going to be flipping through the TV <laughs> yeah. and like, oh shit, Goodfellas is on, but I didn't like what De Niro said last week, so I'm not going to watch the, one of the greatest movies ever fucking made. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Like, I mean, no matter what their personal beliefs are, it's not going to make me stop listening to... I don't want to hear them say it when they're performing. But it's not going to make me stop listening to them. You know, like, she had a thing about Metallica because I heard this at their show. They said, and I actually appreciated this, is we don't care what you, who you voted for. We don't care about your political beliefs, your religious beliefs. We're all here for one reason, and that's to listen to it and enjoy music. 
and I agree with them 100%. No one's there for any other reason than to listen to the music that they love and all have fun, and it brings us all together. And, and getting to the point that she's cherry-picking... <laughs> Because that was the quote. What you just said was the full quote. And I was there at the concert where they did say that yeah. a couple years ago. And and you said almost verbatim the full quote. She cherry picked. I don't care who you voted for. And she go and you know again we're not going to get make this political. It doesn't matter. I'm not you know I'll, I'm going to say what she said. And I don't want to get into a political debate. She goes. Well, don't you think people who voted for Donald Trump are supporting racism? It's like okay. Well, you're not listening to the whole statement. He right, didn't exactly. say, "I don't care who you voted for," because if you, you know, even if you voted for somebody who supports racism or whatever, right. uh, you could still come. In. He just said, "Let's just all get together, forget, forget our problems, and, right, and exactly. listen to music." So stop, Serena, Wolf, True Blood, stop cherry picking to try to get a band that is not going to be canceled yeah. to get canceled. You just discovered. A band that's been around for 40 years and realized, oh shit, metal bands in the 80s did fucked up things. Well, welcome to being part of Gen X because we've known this our entire <laughs> lives. And you know welcome what? Welcome to America. <laughs> yeah, welcome to America. I mean, welcome to. And not for nothing, you have Cardi B fucking talking about her wet ass pussy and you're upset about Metallica. Come on. Yeah. Let's stop. Like, Let's stop. Let's stop. Because I'm sure whatever music fucking serena true blood is listening to i would love to know who she's listening to i'm sure they're all fucking high and mighty and fucking on their p's and q's i'll say this like you said and metallic said i don't know who fucking james hetfield voted for and i'll give a fuck i don't care he wasn't saying he wasn't saying hey i voted for trump or i voted for biden and no matter who i voted for we should just he didn't say any of that he just basically said like you, you were saying it doesn't matter what anybody believes here. We're all here for the same reason. And so that's what the music. About music is. Is music unites and brings you together no matter what you think about whoever or whatever your outside political beliefs or religious beliefs. If you enjoy the same music, you have that common bond and you can share it and have fun and you're actually finally at peace with each other. 